Good morning. Let's begin chapter 7, Rocks and Minerals. All of us know that our earth is made mostly of rocks. What is a rock? A rock is a solid collection of minerals. Different rocks are made up of different minerals. Based on how they are formed, rocks are divided into three types. They are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Now let's study about igneous rocks. Igneous rocks, the word igneous is taken from the Greek word meaning fire. These rocks are formed when hot liquid magma from inside the earth cools and becomes solid. When magma cools below the ground, it's called as an intrusive igneous rock. When magma cools on the surface, it is called extrusive igneous rocks. The best example for igneous rocks are granite, basalt, pumice and obsidian. When I say granite, granite is an example of an intrusive rock, especially when the magma cools down slowly. All of us know that granite are found in different colors and is used as a building material. When you talk about basalt, an example of igneous rocks, it is an extrusive volcanic rock that is gray in color and is formed due to rapid cooling of lava. This is used as a road base or as concrete. When you talk about obsidian, this rock is formed when magma cools quickly. It is formed from elements like silicon, oxygen, aluminium, etc. It has a crystal-like growth, so it is used to make jewellery. During the early Stone Age, it was used as a tool to hunt animals. When we talk about pumice, pumice is an extrusive rock. It is formed when lava with a high content of water and gases are discharged. It is formed. The only, this is the only rock that floats on water. The other rock is sedimentary rocks. Now how are sedimentary rocks formed? The wind and water breaks the rocks into pieces. Pieces. These pieces of rocks are carried along and deposited on the earth's surface. As more and more sediments are deposited, the weight turns them into rocks. This is called as sedimentary rocks. The best examples of sedimentary rock are sandstone, limestone, conglomerate and shale. The best example for sandstone is the Red Fort building that is found in Delhi. Limestone is made of fine grains of calcium minerals and it is used to make cement, brick and glass. The conglomerate has coarse grains or pebbles in it. It is used to make ornaments and sometimes to make concrete. Shale is a rock that is made of clay, silt and mud particles and it is used for making clay, bricks and cement. Sometimes shale is important for the formation of petroleum. Now let's study about metamorphic rocks. When a rock that is deep inside the earth and this rock when it is exposed to high temperature and pressure it causes one type of rock to change into another for example marble marble is formed when limestone is exposed to extreme heat and pressure so the word metamorphic it means change change from one rock to another kind the best examples for metamorphic rock is marble, slate, 
nice quartzite marble is formed when limestone is changed by heat and pressure the best example for taj mahal in agra is made of marble slate is formed when shale is changed due to high pressure and temperature it is used to make blackboards and building roofs granite is a igneous rock when heat and pressure is applied on granite it changes into another rock called as gneiss this rock has got a mineral called mica and so it shines there are there is a glitter in this rock and it is used in buildings when heat and pressure is used on sandstone it becomes quartzite it is very hard and is not damaged easily by water and wind this quartzite is used in the glass industry and it is also used to make jewelry the next we are going to study about is minerals each mineral is made of one type of substance and the rocks contain one or more minerals rocks are very useful some of the rocks can be used to make roads and some of the materials for building a home are got from rocks metals are also got from rocks metals like copper gold and silver are present like mineral in the rocks these rocks can be purified and the impure material is taken out and the minerals like copper gold and silver is got from them some rocks like coal are used as fuel the mineral uranium is used to get an energy called nuclear energy some minerals like nitrates sulfates and phosphates are used to make fertilizers and don't forget rocks like diamonds emerald ruby and sapphire are beautiful these rocks are polished and can be used in jewelry and can make you rich and wealthy coal and petroleum are also fuels that are got in rocks these are usually used in the form of energy coal is hard black rock like substance and how is it formed it is formed from the dead remains of plants the dead matter that was buried under the mud and soil has changed to coal due to the weight of the rocks and soil above it this process has taken millions of years when it comes to petroleum petroleum was formed in the same way that coal was made but it is got from dead animals and plants that were buried under the sea petrol and diesel are a part of petroleum thank you